My grandmother used to say, watch what gifts people give to have an idea of what they'd like to receive. One of my favorite Christmas gifts to give is the page-a-day calendar. However, I've never received one. I try to find a calendar that's appropriate for the person that I'll give it to. So I have to admit I have three calendars in my house, and I turn a new page each day. One of the calendars is the OMG calendar that has a fun fact for the day. Usually there are things that are hard to believe that somebody actually spent time researching, if it is indeed a fact. Like today's fact is, a lightning bolt strikes so quickly, it could circle the globe eight times in just one second. Who knew? Or who cared? Another calendar is a daily cartoon from the Argyle sweater. Some days are funnier than others, but isn't that the truth? And the third calendar is inspirational. A short inspiration like no rain, no flowers. Do stuff. Start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. Accept what isn't so you can move forward with what is. Today's page simply says, it's a new day. One year at Christmas, I gave my brother a calendar that was a joke a day. He opened it on Christmas Eve, and on Christmas Day, he gave it back to me and said I could keep it because he had already read it all. That's not the idea. The idea of a page-a-day calendar is that each day you get to turn the page and tear off the previous one. You don't look ahead, and you don't look behind. You live today for today, or at least you try to. I think it's a good metaphor for how we're living this time of COVID-19. It's pretty easy to let a certain sense of panic set in as jobs are on hold, no money's coming in. We see more and more people wearing face masks when they're out. We see fewer and fewer of the faces of the people we love because we're keeping our distance. We can let ourselves get depressed as we think about the way things were and never will be again about the places we used to go, the things we used to do, the people we used to spend time with. So don't tear off more than one page at a time. I remember a card I received once. It had the smiling, impish face of a cute little boy, and it read, Smile a little today. And on the inside of the card, it said, Tomorrow is waiting. Live today for today, because tomorrow will come. In chapter 6 of Matthew's Gospel account of the Sermon on the Mount, among so many other things, Jesus tells his friends, So why do you worry about clothes? See how the flowers of the field grow? They do not labor or spin, and yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, Will he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? So do not worry and and say, what will we eat or what will we wear? Your heavenly Father knows that you need these things, but seek first the kingdom of God and all these things will be given you as well. Do not worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. As we celebrate this Easter mystery of Christ's resurrection from the dead, let us not be afraid of tomorrow. Because the same loving Father who takes care of us today will take care of us tomorrow and the next day and the day after that. Just remember, one page a day.